what's up everybody welcome back to pens and tea my name is carrie and today we're gonna to be talking about probably the most beautiful fountain pen in my collection what is that you ask well you don't have to because you can read the description of this video <laughs> but it is the uh leonardo officina italiana momento zero grande collaboration with jonathan brooks primary manipulation four And Parker is chasing birds. As you can tell, it is another beautiful rainy day here, uh, bringing in that spring weather. So if you hear her in the background, now you know why. But I could not wait. I could not wait. In fact, I had already waited about a month. <laughs> Actually, almost two months now uh, since I got this pen. So I will do a review of this like a year from now um, because I highly doubt that my opinions will change, but you never know. So if you've seen my unboxing of this, then you know that I was beyond excited to receive this pen. In fact, typically um, the way that I film and upload these, I have anywhere between a month to three months worth of videos already filmed and just waiting to go like to upload. Um, but I chose to move every one of those scheduled upload dates to be later so that I could get the unboxing of this pretty soon after I actually got it because I just couldn't wait. <laughs> I couldn't wait because I wanted you guys to see it. Uh, I wanted to see it and I wanted to capture the excitement and get the excitement out there around the same time that everyone else who ordered either the primary manipulation four um, or the gold version, I don't remember what that one was called, but I wanted everybody to sort of share in that experience. So yeah, I'm gonna try and contain my excitement. Now this is not the first um, Momento Zero pen that I've owned. In fact, I own two of the regular versions uh, and I own one other Grande and I've done reviews of all of those already so you can check those out. Um, and I do plan on picking up the new uh, Brugna, um, the plum colored spaghetti resin one, um, because oh, it is beautiful, absolutely stunning. Um, so I'm just waiting for the funds to come together for that. But, because this kind of took precedence, um, this pen sold out almost immediately. There's a story about me getting this pen. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, I almost choked on my own spit. So this is the third iteration of the collaboration between Leonardo and Jonathan Brooks. Um, and I've missed out on the other two, mostly because I didn't really know much about the brand. Of course, I've seen them after the fact. Uh, the Vesuvio one uh, is definitely one that I wish I could have gotten my hands on. Um, so I decided, um, that if they ever did it again, I would jump, jump at the opportunity to do it. Um, I knew it was going to be redonkulously expensive and I'll get to that later. Um, but I, I just, I told myself if it was ever available for the next one to do it. Uh, and then before, of course it was available, they teased what they looked like. So I knew that I wanted the primary manipulation four over the gold version. Um, so I knew that going in, which was excellent. So I set up notifications across several retailers um, for the day that it was gonna be released because I knew the millisecond it would hit the shelf, it would sell out within minutes. Well, I was at work. <laughs> I was at work, we were heading into our morning meetings that we do every single day, and I was panicking. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and speed up this story because I have a habit of, of stretching these things out. Uh, I purchased it off of Apple Bomb, and I did that because uh, Gourmet Pens and SBR Brown have like the discount code. Uh, plus I knew that the, um, uh, like Apple Bomb will tune and smooth the nib before it gets sent out. Um, and some Leonardo's can write a little on the dry side and I don't like that. I prefer them to be wet. So I thought this is perfect. 
um, and they, I don't remember if they, they charge for shipping or the shipping was a lot less. I, I can't quite remember, but either way it was perfect. So I purchased the pen and then as I was checking out, my credit card declined it because I suppose it thought it was fraud. So then I had to wait for my fraud text to come through, tell them that no, it's actually me. Yes, I am actually spending this amount of money <laughs> uh, to the Netherlands, even though I live in Canada. So it cleared, I, re I was able to repurchase, I got the successful notification that I checked out and I was like, you know, whew, my heart was going all pitter patter and I was stoked. Slightly like, oh my God, how much money did I just spend? But stoked. <laughs> so I went into this meeting thinking I am queen of the, na the NAND. I was gonna say the Nile and the land and it came out NAND. Um, and then things changed. So about 15 minutes later, I got an email from Yoast at Applebomb. I did not buy a pen. I did not buy a pen. They only got four in stock and I was the fifth person to check out. Why? because my credit card thought it was fraud. <sighs> so had I not had that fraud warning, I would have gotten it and it would have been no problem. But unfortunately that wasn't the case. But have no fear because I checked a couple other retailers and they were sold out. So I thought, gosh, darn it, I missed it. Like I was so bummed. And then I stumbled across a little website called Pen Venture. <laughs> and my mind went, whoa, <laughs> whoa, it's in stock. Now, admittedly, it was a little bit more expensive because their shipping costs more. It ships out of Romania. Um, and I didn't have my 10% off coupon like I did for Applebomb. So I ended up having to pay a little bit more, which was, um, you know, a bummer because you never want to pay more, but I really, 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 really wanted this pen. So I did it. <laughs> and I knew a little bit about Pen Venture because I was actually watching Emmy, who um, is like the owner of Pen Venture. I was watching his content on YouTube uh, because I like his videos. And I'd never purchased anything from them before. So I did it. I put it in the cart, I checked out, it all went smoothly, big success. And on their website, they say that if you email them, you can ask Emmy to tune the pen to your liking before they send it out. So I did that. Um, and then it, I actually found out he watches my video, so he knows who I am, uh, which was super kind. And he is such a kind hearted gentleman. Um, and with the purchase of this pen, he actually sent me a few other things um, to one, one to actually review. And I'm going to do a super quick pass through here. <laughs> so he actually sent me that pen on loan, um, cause it's his personal pen to review. And he sent me a few other goodies. Uh, one of which I actually, I'm going to show you real quick. This is going to be a really long video. I apologize. Uh, one of the things he sent me and I'll show you the rest of the goodies that he sent me with that other pen review. Um, but one of the goodies he sent me was this tin, which I think is just the cutest thing ever. He knows about Parker and ordinarily, I'm not actually a fan of like this kind of like uh, artwork, but I absolutely love, love, love this tin. Um, and it's even on the lid. I absolutely adore it. I love it so much and I have some tea from Wise Wise Tea. I've also done a review of um, of this uh, this company and all of the teas I have. This one's actually my favorite uh, tea that's in here, so you can check that out on my channel as well. But um, oh my gosh, like I just I love this tin. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. Okay, but that's not why you're here. <laughs> So long story short, he was able to tune the pen for me before it got sent out. Uh, and he was even sweet enough uh, to show me some of the models that he got. And I actually picked one of the um, 
picked the pen that he ended up sending me because I wanted a little bit more blues and, and uh, dark purples rather than the oranges and the reds because every material is vastly different. Um, Jonathan Brooks essentially takes different resins, blends them together, makes beautiful rods, and wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Can I say wow enough? Um, and like, oh my gosh, it is just stunning. It is so shimmery, so sheeny. The colors blend effortless, effortlessly, regardless of where you're looking. There, it, it just, <sighs> it's beautiful. <laughs> so it's the typical uh, Leonardo Memento Zero shape. Um, but they actually took a different approach with the bands this year. So this band, as you can see, is not the three thin gold rings as typical. It's actually the thick chunky band uh, from the Cusipid model or Cus I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll write it here. Cusipidy something. I don't know. But either way, uh, I also want one of those. The silver one, just magnifique, but they're so expensive. Um, so that they took the trim from that. Um, and this has rose gold finishings, which uh, up until this pen uh, was not something you could get. Since then, in 2021, rose gold trim is something that you can get on regular pens. So for the for just a quick overview here of, of what it uh, looks like, it's kind of almost flat, but like slightly pointed conical ends here, um, just like on any Memento Zero. The clip is the thinner uh, style here with the typical roller ball, works very well. You do still have three rings. You have two small ones with a chunky, chunky band in the middle um, that's got the really nice sort of inlaid material here. On the actual body of the pen, you do have another ring here where the cap meets up. Unlike the 2019 versions, uh, this is flush, so it just tapers down to the body. Uh, whereas the 2019 one, as you'll see on the um, copper Memento Zero that I reviewed already, it jumps down immediately. There's no, no nice taper. Uh, does taper slightly to the end here where you have the piston knob because this is a piston fountain pen. Uh, it does have the writing, um, Leonardo Officina Italiana, number 65 of 70. But because of the chatoyants in the material, you cannot really see it. You can't see it on this lens. I will do my best uh, in the close-ups to show you, which you've already seen, um, but it's pretty hidden. It is uh, about one and a half turns to get the cap off where you have the typical Memento Zero uh, grip section here. Pretty steep step down here till you get to the threads, which are very shallow. And then you have a pretty steep slide here uh, for the grip section before you get to this metal ring, which is also rose gold. And it does flare out ever so slightly to stop your fingers. What I like about that is you can hold your pen farther back if you like a bit of a chunkier grip, or you can hold it towards the front like I do if you want a slightly narrower grip. And even that narrow is not like super narrow. I got a fine uh, nib. This automatically comes with the 14 karat gold nib um, and a red ebonite feed. Um, <clears throat> this, as far as I'm aware, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm nearly positive that this is still the Bach gold nib. Um, it had not changed over to the Yovo nib yet. This fits very nicely in my hand. It is a large pen. It's not oversized, but it is a large pen. Um, you do not need to post it in my mind, but you can, and it does post beyond the piston knob. Um, but at that point, it throws off the balance for me um, I like it a lot unposted. Um, I like this pen a lot. <laughs> I like this pen a lot. I absolutely adore this 
pen and it writes very well. Emmy, I'm so happy with what you did to it to tune it. Um, I asked him to make it super, super wet um, and he did. <clears throat> in fact, I actually broke my rule with this pen in that when I ink up a new pen for the first time, I typically do not put an ink in that I don't know. Uh, because that way if the pen does write a little dry, if it writes wet, whatever, I know it's not the ink, I know it's the pen. Um, and he actually asked me, this is another thing actually Emmy did for me, um, and he would, I imagine, do it for, for any customer. Um, Leonardo Memento Zero Grandes uh, come with a bottle of ink. Typically it's a random bottle, you don't have a choice. Um, but he asked me what color I wanted. And I chose the sepia, which is what I have in this pen. And I've never used a Leonardo before, um, so I broke my rule in inking it up with that ink um, because I, I have no former knowledge of, of how that ink performs. So <sighs> I'm so pleased. <laughs> Uh, I was bummed that I lost out from Apple Bomb, but I'm actually glad I did go through Pen Venture um, because I've had a really positive experience from these guys. Um, I know they're going through some changes right now. If you head over to their YouTube channel, um, they've actually done some teasers, which by the time this uh, video publishes, they're probably not teasers anymore. They're probably done releasing it to the world. Um, but I do recommend, and they're not, they're not asking me to say this, by the way. <laughs> I do recommend that you head over and check them out. Um, I will be, uh, I will be a, a, a repeat customer. I really liked my experience with those guys and it shipped super fast and super well. Um, and yeah, yeah, I had a good time. Uh, so, oh, this is such a long video. I'm so sorry. I wanted to make this concise, but I have rambled on forever because there's such a story that goes with this pen. I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna do the writing sample. Okay, friends and family, the obligatory sentence here that some people get cheesed uh, for why we all use it, but I, I, I can't explain that. Uh, so once again, this is the Leonardo Momento Zero Grande uh, 14 karat fine nib and the ink for today is Leonardo Officina Italiana Sepia. This pen is exceptionally wet. Oh, Parker found a squirrel. Um, and that is by design. Uh, so like I said, Emmy tuned this for me. Uh, and is absolutely beautiful. It has been a absolutely reliable writer. No hard starts, no skips, no dry moments, you know, nothing, just, just beautiful. Uh, it keeps up with everything. Not that I would write that fast with this pen, um, but it is stunning. And I mean, you can see the ink pool. It is just beautiful. Reverse writing, you can. It is very scratchy though. I don't enjoy the feeling of that, um, but you can get a slightly finer line. Um, as far as line variation goes, it is a stiffer gold nib. So you don't really get a whole lot. Um, but oh my gosh, like look at that pooling. I don't know, and I'll say this, I, I said it before, but I don't know if this is a wet ink um, or if that's just the way that Emmy tuned it because it's beautifully done. Um, so it could be a factor of both. Uh, if you rotate to the sides, it's actually pretty, pretty good with rotating. Um, but yeah, I, oh, it's just so beautiful. <sighs> The only thing that drives me nuts is that it does tend to spin a little. So you can see here where it's not activating anything, but the end does spin a little bit. Um, so it's not like super duper tight. Um, I only really notice that when I am holding it kind of like this, which is not often, um, but you know, it is something that happens. Um, so <laughs> this pen is absolutely 
stunning. Uh, I love it very, 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 very much. I do recommend if you can get your hands on uh, one of the um, partnerships with Jonathan Brooks to do it. Um, this is the first time that I've seen like swirls like this that are um, like flat in the sense that the other ones are not like shiny and sparkly like this, um, but they're like, they sort of play with like a 3D effect kind of swirl. But I highly recommend that you get your hands on any of them because they're stunning. Uh, that said, you pay a gigantic premium for it. But you can get any grande, any Momento Zero grande. It would not be my pen if Parker's hair wasn't on it. Um, and, and you'll pay a lot cheaper. And I recommend any of them because they are stunning. So friends, family, thank you so much for watching this very long video. If you've made it to the end, I very much appreciate you. You guys are the reason why I make these videos. So I encourage you to hit that like button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't, like 75% of you haven't. <laughs> um, new videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday. And again, I appreciate you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.